Right, hi everyone, Chris here, 2E0UKH. So you've got yourself a HD1 aliens radio. First thing you need to do is get hold of the software to program it all up. Head over to retavis.com, hover over support, click on resources, and then choose the model of radio, HD1. And you, want, you might want to download the manual, download the PC software, USB driver, and the latest firmware. 1.34 is the latest firmware, so download all them three. And also, head over to Facebook group, Aliens HD1 Retivist News and Support. Go on there, join that group, click on Files and download the address book. It's got all the DMR user database in it. I did try using one from other sources and it didn't work. One that I would have used with me MD380. But that's where I got mine. You'll soon know if it doesn't work. So that's that's the stuff to download. So I've downloaded it and it's on my desktop here. There's the PC software. So this is the order I did I did the I did it in. First of all, install this is with no programming cable connected at this stage. First of all install the driver. This is a zipped up file. I went in there, found the driver, in my case Windows 7. I went in there, downloaded it, installed it. Once the driver's in, I connected the PC cable, the USB cable, from the PC to the radio. I ran the software. This is what this is the icon you get. Ran the software. And to check they're communicating with each other, you can click this button read from the radio and you get a bar go across. I'm sure you've all seen it before on the 380. That just means the radio is communicating with the computer. And when you get your first read of the radio, it would be a good idea to back it up and put it on your computer somewhere safe. Because I don't believe there's a way to reset it to default settings. There wasn't on the 380. So you've backed that up. Your radio reads. These are the things you need to do next. You need to go to basic settings. ID setting. In there. Go in there. You type in your DMR ID and your call sign. To update the digital contacts, the address book of all your DMR users around the world, you go to address book, import contacts, and you've got it pointed towards the file you downloaded, the address book. So in my case, it's on the desktop. There it is, there. Click open. That will put it in the PC software. And to get it on the radio, you click Right Contacts. I'm not going to do that. That takes 10 or 15 minutes. So, once you've got the contacts on there, on the radio, you're ready for the next stage. But at, when you do click this Right Contacts, the radio just needs to be on. And I would have it on an FM station or something which you know if you did this at a later stage you've got stuff in your radio do not do it while you're connected to a DMR hotspot or a repeater be on an FM channel or a blank channel so the next thing to do is update the firmware install this software you got from Retavis it will give you this icon here. 
make sure your programming cable is connected from the PC to the radio turn the radio off I'm doing that now hold in transmit and the button below it and switch it on and you'll get a red light on the top that means it's ready to receive the firmware run the program if it shows the COM port there it should be ready to go click connect and then you're ready to click update so it takes quite a while but that's how you get started with the HD1 the next videos will be about getting some channels onto the radio using the computer and also excuse me also using just the radio on its own using no computer programming in DMR repeaters FM repeaters and anything you like okay 73 hope that helps someone 2E0 UKH going clear cheers